Hey friends, hope you guys are okay. It's Pedro here. Super excited to be doing this devotion with you guys. I'm here in a prayer room alone and I just want to talk to you a bit about the passage today. So today we are talking about Luke chapter 1 verse 57 to 66. Uh, let me just give you some background of the story before. So that that this the verse 57 to 66 is talking about the born of John. But before of that, you need to know the story for you to understand really the, the, the context. So the story is Zechariah and Isabel, a great couple together, a couple that really served the Lord faithfully, a couple that obey the commands. Uh, the Bible even say that like you couldn't find anything wrong on them. So it was a, a couple that really uh, take the, the Lord super seriously. And one day Zachariah goes inside the temple to do his job and he sees the angel, the angel of the Lord there. And the angel speaks to him and says, Zachariah, all, all your prayers are being heard and you will be a father. And when you, your son borns, you will put his name John. On that time, like any human, Zechariah said, uh, this is not possible, I'm an old man, like how that will really happen? And the angel says, I'm Gabriel and I'm with the Lord, so you don't will speak until your son, uh, until your son is born. So on that time, Zechariah came out of the temple and he couldn't speak, he just was doing like the signal language and everyone understood that he had a vision with the Lord. So the story goes, and finally, John is born. And everyone was calling him Zechariah because they was the name of his father, right? And Isabel was saying, no, this baby will be called John. And they give, give to Zechariah a piece of wood, and he wrote John. Uh, and everyone was super amazed, and the fear of the Lord really came to that place. And they really could feel the presence of the Lord there. And in all around Judea, everyone heard this story. And everyone that heard this story was thinking like, oh, who, who will be this boy? And we all know who John was. And uh, we know that the, the hand of the Lord was upon him. And the Bible even said that, that the, Lord, the hand of the Lord was upon him. And this story is beautiful. You know, uh, we all know the, what John became and the importance of his life on this, in the story of our Jesus. And I think a good example that we can take from this, and I think a good lesson that I really take from, from this passage, is never doubt the promise of the Lord in your life. So never doubt when the Lord says something to you. Uh, if our God, He promised to you, I can guarantee to you that there is always a way and there is always a provision on that. So if the Lord pro uh, pr promised something in your life, I just want you to know that He will answer all the promises that He made. So I just want to pray for us before I finish this little devotion. It's really simple, this passage, and I hope you understood well. Uh, I really encourage you to, lead, to, to read Luke chapter 1. We'll read the whole chapter. It's, it's really beautiful. You can see a lot of things there. And yeah, I really hope that the Lord uh, it will speak to you through, through this, this passage. And yeah, never forget that the, the promise of the Lord are always there. And like we sing all the time, all your promises are yes and amen. And God never will fail his promise. He never failed in the past, so he don't will start now. So I just want to pray for us. So if you can, close your eyes. And yeah, let's pray. So Father, thank you very much. Because Father, you are so faithful, Jesus. And we can trust you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you never fail. And we know you won't start now, Father. We thank you, Jesus, because everything that you promised, you always, you, where, when we have a promise, we always have your provision there, Father. We always have, we always have a way there, Father. So thank you for your promise in our lives, Father. So if there is any promises inside our heart, Jesus, that is that, we pray for that to come alive again, Jesus. If there is any promises that you, that you have for us, that gave us dreams, and these dreams are dead now, we pray for these dreams to come alive again, Father. And we pray, Father, for all, all your promises in our lives, Father, to become a reality. 
And we know, Father, that all these promises that you have in our lives will, will, will be a door for the good news that is you, Jesus. In the same way that John was the good, the good news, Father, was someone that had the anointing of Elijah, Father. Someone that when he speaks, he brings really confrontation, but also he brings like the generations coming together. We pray for that over us in Jesus' name. And yeah, I hope you guys have a really blessed day. And I see you later.